Hey guys, today's video is going to be another kid activity video and we have a really fun one that I saw on Pinterest. It requires paper towel um, rolls and toilet paper rolls and I just have some construction paper in these different colors. I picked these colors because I have these pom-poms that correlate with it. You could really use any colors that you have. They wouldn't even have to really be pom-poms. You could use toys, whatever you want. Something that is just gonna fall into the, the rolls. You'll see when we set it up. But anyways, I'm just gonna cut a little piece of each of these and I need one more of these, but stick them on here so that he knows which color goes with which. And then we will tape the toilet paper rolls and the paper towel rolls to the wall and you will drop them and try and get them to go into the color they co coordinate with. Um, it'll make a lot more sense when I show you guys, but it looked like a lot of fun. So I'm going to go ahead and cut a little sliver of each of these so that I can put them on the buckets. All right guys, so this activity is a clothespin painting activity. I have a couple clothespins here that I actually already had. Um, and I just broke one of those sponges that you use to paint and made this one. I made a little bit of a different shape for this. I had pom-poms, so we did two, oh, there's some hair on it, uh, um, Two on this one, you know, one on here. Two little ones. The whole point is just to have little different textures and shapes for them to paint. So I just did three colors here. This is paint that we just had on hand that I've gotten for crafts and I got these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar that he uses all the time. So he's sitting at the table ready to make a mess, huh? Here is the next activity. I just got a Tupperware container, filled it with water, and put a few cashed in little toys in here and froze it. It got a little lopsided, but I still think it came out pretty cool because some of them are sticking out halfway. This one's sticking out a little bit. This one's halfway. And anyways, what they do is you give them a little bit of lukewarm water, and you can also give them salt. Um, it's debatable because some people say that the salt and the water and the ice can cause burns, but completely up to your discretion. Um, but you give them water and these paintbrushes and let them dig out their little friends. You know, as the water 
or as the ice melts. I think he's gonna be really excited. Um, this is actually the night before and I just made sure it was done before tomorrow. And I'm gonna let him do it tomorrow after breakfast. So yeah, we'll see how he likes it. guys so the next activity we're gonna do is a little science experiment and all you need I'm in science. <laughs> all you need is six clear or glass jars glass, glass. count them how jars. many <laughs> okay we'll work on that later anyways then you need red um red. blue green yellow red right and you need some water and you need paper towels. So you'll need six paper towels. And what you'll do is fold them in half twice so that you have a strip. And then what you'll do is you'll put one strip in one end and into the other, kind of like a little loop. And then you'll put the next one in a little loop and then the next one. So it'll be like two, you'll kind of go like that. You'll see when I do. So it worked. So this empty jar turned green because the blue traveled in and the yellow traveled in to make green. This one turned purple because the red and the blue went inside. And then this one, it's hard to tell because they all look really similar. That's obviously yellow, red. Um, it turned an orange color. It really did work. And this would be a really good way to explain to your kids about how two different colors can make a, a different color. It's pretty cool. It's really fun. It's a little time consuming. It takes a while for it to travel. So just know that it's not going to be instant or anything. I kept filling um, the blue, yellow, and red up with water because the water would go down because it was traveling. So I would just fill it up so that it went a little quicker. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. You guys should definitely try it and let me know if you like it. All right, go ahead and tell the, tell the people what they need for this experiment. We need pom-poms and we need food coloring and we need soap and we need milk and we need this little bowl. Good job, buddy. Okay, so are you ready to try our experiment? Okay. All we need is a little milk. bit of milk. Okay.
Thank you.